Welcome to the Kennedy Report, ladies and gentlemen. Quick five-minute thing here. I just saw this breaking story. Nancy Pelosi has been banned from receiving Holy Communion in her archdiocese by the courageous Archbishop Cordiglione. We're just going to look at some highlights uh, from that here. Here's actually an article from, um, uh, from the National Catholic Register. And it says, Archbishop Salvatore Cordiglione of San Francisco has formally barred Nancy Pelosi from receiving Holy Communion until such a time as you publicly repudiate your advocacy for the legitimacy of abortion and confess and receive absolution of this grave sin in the sacrament of penance. Um, wow. And uh, there's a few takeaways here from this article uh, from the National Catholic Register. And it says it was pastoral, not political. See, this has been going on for a long time. There was debate whether or not this would happen. And uh, I understand the archbishop trying to be careful with how to do this decision because the reality is, is that the last thing you want is this hyper politicization of all these things and I get that I mean we all wish that they would do these things more swiftly but at the same time there are a lot of things to consider I'm just so happy this happened um Cordy Leone has just been so strong uh, even during the lockdown in the worst state probably to be in he was strong on that of making sure they could still have mass as, as much as possible doing it outside if they had to um and uh, it says here, for example, efforts have been made. The two have spoken about the dissonance between her public support for abortion and then obviously the Catholic faith. This is really, really important um, because the bishop has followed all of the normal protocol. He's followed all of the um, the steps. You're supposed to, as the Bible says, you know, you, you take it to the person, then you take it to your brother with the person, and then you take it to the church. You know, like he's, he's followed all those sorts of steps. Um so if you're just joining us now, Nancy Pelosi has been banned receipt from receiving Holy Communion. Um, you can find this article at the National Catholic Register. Uh, it's called Five Takeaways. Actually, I think the website of the San Francisco Archdiocese has crashed, or at least was stifled for a bit, because I kept trying to go there to read it, and it just wouldn't load, and it says there was an error, you know, that gateway error, whatever it says. Um, anyway, so Nancy Pelosi has been banned from receiving Holy Communion. This is really, really important because, we'll just take that off there. We're entering into what's call it like the pro-life moment. And it's clearly a matter of uh, grave existential importance. And it's going to be a, a really important legal battle over the next little while, especially for Americans. But we're feeling it even up here in Canada. And, um, you know, if the bishops are not supportive of the pro-life position, in the political sphere, and I know this is not a political decision, but she is a politician. If the bishops are not supportive, then lay people were just, were up the creek. Um, so God bless Archbishop Cordiglione for having the courage to come through and actually do this. Um, goodness knows that he's under immense pressure to not do this. It's easy for us to sit back and throw rocks and say, you know, you should have done this, you should have done this. Um, but he's finally done it. And I think, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to be the first person to stand up, but they don't mind being the second person to stand up. You know, we've seen this with uh, advocating for rights during lockdowns and things like that. Some people don't want to be the first person to stand up for their rights, but if there's a small group of people doing it, then they don't have a problem joining in. I suspect there are many other bishops around the country uh, who would like to follow suit with what he's done, um, but... They just haven't had the courage to do so, so far. This is going to put a lot of pressure on the bishops of California. This is going to put a lot of pressure on uh, Wilson Gregory in Washington. Um, personally, I think we're in for a pretty bumpy ride, as they say. So Nancy Pelosi has been banned from receiving Holy Communion by Archbishop Cordiglione. Uh, praise God, not because we need any arbitrary punishment against anybody, but because she's, you know, further damning her soul every time she does. Uh, she needs to stop mocking the Catholic faith. We need to stop with this nonsense that, that you can be a pro-abortion Catholic. This is ridiculous. This is like saying I'm a vegan who eats meat. It makes no sense, and it is not Catholic. You don't think the Catholics are right, and you don't want to join the church? That's your decision. But Catholicism is pro-life because Catholicism is sane. So... Thanks for watching. Quick special report here. Till next time, God bless. Oh, by the way, click the link in the description. Help us grow in our, in our mission here. Thank you for all your support. Bye-bye.